From Software has established itself as one of the best names in the industry, and its work on the Souls series has inspired a ton of developers to take those concepts and morph them in new and interesting ways. These Souls likes have become a lot more popular lately, and there are plenty of underrated Souls likes that tend to get brushed under the radar. And with this feature, we'll be looking at 15 underrated Souls likes that you didn't play but definitely should try out. Lords of the Fallen 2023 there have been a number of Souls likes that have simply copied and pasted ideas from From Software's games, but 2023's Lords of the Fallen is different. Set in a dark fantasy world, it features an interesting mechanic where you can essentially switch between two versions of the same world to unlock new pathways and interesting secrets. Add to that some solid combat, and Lords of the Fallen 2023 becomes a great choice for anyone looking for a fresh Souls like. Asteragos Curse of the Stars Developed by Acme Game Studio, Asterago's Curse of the Stars is all about the protagonist trying to find her long-lost dad. It's a great starting point for someone who finds Souls likes too challenging, as you can easily switch between multiple difficulties. The story is also a lot more direct and simple, and while it has a few flaws that cannot be overlooked, there's also plenty to love here as well. Lies of P Lies of P is an interesting concept that combines the childhood story of Pinocchio with a twisted dark fantasy world, and the results are honestly surprising. The world is striking from not only a design perspective, but also from a graphical standpoint. And the combat is unforgiving, but fair. Lies of P is all about doing a meticulous dance of swipes and dodges, and it's made all the more beautiful through the addition of custom weapons and the ability to swap between prosthetics. It takes a lot of cues from Bloodborne and Sekiro, but it's definitely a game worth experiencing. Blood Spear. Bloodspear transports players into a high fantasy world where you assume the role of a demonic spear, and you must trudge through beautifully realized locales and fight all sorts of monstrosities. Bloodspear started life as a student project, but it has since evolved into a much bigger project, with plenty of diverse environments and enemy types, and the best part is that it's free to play, so there's really nothing stopping you from giving this one a shot. Steel Rising Yet another Souls-like game that does more than simply copy and paste ideas from already popular games. Taking place in a fantasy setting, players must do everything in their power to stop the mechanical monstrosities that pepper this large world. The Souls-like combat is fast-paced, with a ton of focus on parrying attacks at the right time, and the bosses are brutal tests of your mechanical proficiency. With excellent build variety and gorgeous art direction, Steel Rising is a great game that you should definitely check out. Tymesia. Tymesia puts players in the shoes of Corvus, a warrior with no memories of his past, and must do everything in his power to reclaim those lost memories within a kingdom ravaged by plague. The game is heavily influenced by Bloodborne, and those inspirations are reflected in everything from the fast-paced combat to the transforming weapons and much more. There are definitely a few rough edges here and there, but on the whole, Tymesia can be a great time with the right expectations. Solstice Taking place in a dark world, players must embark on a grand journey through this crumbling kingdom as they battle all kinds of demonic abominations. Solstice is a brutal action game with fast-paced combat, and you must chain together a wide variety of moves to defeat anything and everything that lies in your path. It's all quality stuff, and the game does a good job of introducing new obstacles at a constant pace to keep things interesting through to the end. Wolong Fallen Dynasty Team Ninja has established itself as one of the best developers in the Souls-like space, and its latest project, Wolong Fallen Dynasty, is emblematic of its greatest strengths. Set against the backdrop of the Three Kingdoms period of Chinese history, Wolong tells the story of a warrior trying to become a legend at a time of extreme conflict and wars. The game allows players to freely build out their character with tons of flexibility within the weapons they choose to wield and the skills they choose to master throughout their journey. Add to that some interesting mechanics like the morale system, and Wolong Fallen Dynasty becomes a pretty fun time on its own. Bad Boro Bad Boro subverts player expectations by contrasting its 2000s cartoon-inspired art style with a simple yet unforgiving combat loop. 
Everything from the environments to the expressive animations and character designs has a distinct vibe, which makes Bad Boro all the more endearing. The game is still due to release in full, but you can get a taste of what's in store right now via a free demo on Steam. Elderborn Elderborn is a rather fresh take on the Souls-like formula, primarily because it switches perspectives from third person to first person. You assume the role of a barbaric warrior who must defeat anything and everything to save his people, and it's one of the most enjoyable first person melee slashers on the market. It's extremely methodical in its gameplay, and the varied enemy designs and brutal bosses do a good job of sustaining that fun throughout its runtime. Crystalla Crystalla thrusts players into a magical world filled with all manner of beasts and magical spirits. As the Destined One, you are to use these magical powers to banish all evil from your homeland. The gameplay revolves around juggling between stealth and action to make your way through enemy encounters, and Crystalla also differentiates itself by adding parkour elements to the mix. It will be released in full in Q4 of 2024, but a free-to-play demo is available on Steam right now. Remnant 2. Remnant 2 expertly builds upon the foundations laid down by the Souls series, and in the process, we get a game which is not only big but a blast to play through. Players can drop in solo or with their friends, and they must trudge through the hordes of increasingly difficult enemies while collecting a variety of loot. There are branching quest lines, detailed progression trees, and memorable encounters that'll keep you coming back for more. Blade of Darkness. The original, Severance Blade of Darkness, has now been relisted in the form of an HD remaster, and it's still a great time. Of course, the visuals are dated, and the mechanics have an element of jank to them, but the underlying core of the gameplay loop remains as fun and as brutal as ever. There are plenty of different build options to try out with four characters, which should keep fans busy for hours on end. Ashen with its simple yet gorgeous art style and imaginative world design, developer A44's Ashen is an unforgettable journey through a fantastical realm that's definitely worth trying out for any fan of Souls-likes. There aren't many distinguishing factors in terms of gameplay, but the implementation is pretty solid for the most part. Intertus Intertus might not be the polished game on the list, but it certainly has its own charm that should be appreciated on its own terms. Intertus puts you into a world that's filled with all kinds of monsters, and you must do everything in your power to defeat them and reach the end. It's equal parts roguelike with its random loot and procedural map generation, and that helps to keep things fresh with each new run. And that brings us to the end of the video. A quick request, we upload new videos every single day. And if you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing. It really, really helps us out. Also, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon so that you can receive daily video updates. Thanks for watching.